How's it guys? Simon Uphold here from TriggerCam. I'm doing a quick run through of the TriggerCam 2.1 for you guys, just on how to set it up. Now, firstly, you're going to have your basic startup guide in your box, so if you want to follow along, just take that out. Now, you're going to first want to choose the right sleeve. You'll notice the right sleeve when you've got about a 2 millimeter gap in the cut in the sleeve. What you do is you put it on halfway, you then make sure your trigger cam's nice and loose, and you're then going to slide it on with the sleeve cut and the cut in the trigger cam the same way, and you push it on the rest of the way then. Don't tighten it up all the way for now, because we are going to want to align the reticles later on. Okay guys, we've now got the trigger cam set up on your rifle nicely. We're now going to go through turning it on and connecting the Wi-Fi. So first thing, you hold in the power button for three seconds. You're going to wait for a beep and the lights will then come on. Now you want to check whether there's a red or orange light on. If the red light's on, then you know that your Wi-Fi isn't on yet. If there's an orange light on and it's flashing, then your Wi-Fi is on and ready, ready to connect. So we're going to hold the Wi-Fi slash record button in and our orange light's now flashing. We're now on our mobile device. We're going to go into our Wi-Fi settings and we're going to look for the trigger cam. Once we found it, we tap on the trigger cam and we use our default password, which is the numbers 1 to 0. What we do is, if it says connected there, you go out of your settings, you go back into your trigger cam app, and you then tap on connect to live stream, and you're now ready to record. Okay guys, the trigger cam set up on our rifle scope, and it's connected to our device, we can see exactly what it's seeing. The next two steps are to get it focused and get the reticles lined up. Now we left the trigger cam a bit loose earlier on. So what you can do is just tilt it left or right on your rifle scope to get it lined up correctly on your device screen. Once it is, as mine now is, you nip it up so that it fits nice and snug on your scope for you. Then the smaller ring on top of your trigger cam is your focus ring cap. You're going to take that one off and you'll see the focus ring inside there. Now, to get that picture nice and crisp on your screen, you're gonna turn that ring one way or the other, depending on which way you need to focus your trigger cam, and your, your picture will then come into focus, and you're then ready to go. Remember to put that cap back on before you go out and enjoy using your trigger cam. Okay, guys, our trigger cam's now set up full scope, all in focus and ready to go. But as they say, it is lights, camera, action. So I'm going to take you over the LED indicators quickly. Our trigger cam is now in record mode or video mode. And we know that because the blue light's on. So to start record or recording or taking your video, you can do it on the app or on the trigger cam itself. To do it on the trigger cam, you just push the record button once and the blue light then starts flashing. You know you're taking a nice video then. To stop it, you tap that record button again you'll hear three beeps and the light will flash three times and your video has then stopped. Now, there's another function, which is the photo function. You tap your, your power button again and you then change over to a green light. To take a photo, you press your record button and you've then taken a photo. Now, this is a little basic go over of the LED indicators. For any extra information, though, just have a look on our website and we'll explain it to you. But until next time, keep well and happy hunting.